Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm going to be showing you how to set up and prime the pumps on this brand new Ninja Dual Brew coffee maker. Model number CFP201. This is brand new, just released September 2021. I just did an unboxing. Now I'm going to do a setup and my next video is going to be a detailed review. I'm going to show you how to make coffee. But in this one, we're just going to get it all ready before we need to make coffee. So the manual that comes with it talks about priming your Ninja Dual Brew coffee maker. We're going to be following these steps. So let's just talk about the coffee maker. They want you to clean the carafe. They want you to wash out the, wa the water reservoir, clean it all up, and, just, and then rinse it out. Up here we've got, this is the K-cup holder. So we go to, to remove, and we can lift this whole basket out. They want you to rinse this out. There's a filter basket. They want you to rinse that out. And then we're going to reassemble all these. So, and that's where the filter basket goes. When we want to do coffee grounds, we slide this over. This is another brew head underneath here and the water connections right there. And then this is the K cup holder. Move it to, to lock and then I can lift it up. There's the needles. So I wanna show you this craft. I was having a hard time getting this lid on. So you take it off, you gotta turn it all the way around to there. Now, it's got this arrow. This arrow has to end up back here where it pours. But you don't start out, I was thinking you started out like right here. You have to start out all the way on the right side, almost at a 40 to five degree angle. Then you turn it so you start out, let's see, right, right there. There's where it starts. Now it's got to turn all the way. And then it's going to snap. Right there at the end it snaps. There, there the lid is installed correctly. Then let me explain. This is the open and close. That lights up accordingly. So what that is, that just, that just simply will let the coffee come out and open and then close it's so you can grab a cup of coffee or, so you, or when the brew is done, you don't want it to drip onto the burner plate or if your coffee mug's down there, you turn it to close. But when you're brewing, it's gotta be open. Okay, so I filled the water reservoir up. I installed the water reservoir. I plugged it in and it's got a power button here. We're gonna turn it on. The display lights up when the power is on. When the power's off, the display is not lit. These back, these buttons here. I was thinking the power button would be lighted. Okay, so they want us to remove the Ninja Pod adapter. So again, to remove this pod adapter, we've got to push that to remove. Then we can lift this whole assembly out. We want to remove this. And they say slide this for ground coffee. Make sure this filter basket is installed and make sure this snaps. It doesn't really snap, but there's just kind of a, it stops. Now this is going to be a fresh water rinse, so we're not going to put any coffee grounds in this yet. Make sure the carafe is installed underneath it. So it says we need to select a full carafe. So this is like a selector button. See how that light's moving across? So we're going to go all the way to the right, and there's two little lights underneath the carafe. There's this one. And this one, there's 46 ounce and 55 ounce. We're gonna do the full one. And you're simply just, this is a start brew button. Just press that button and it beeps at you. And then this light kind of starts over here, but I think this is gonna be the pro progress light. So that's gonna move across as it gets there. Oh, wait a minute, I'm doing over ice. Put that on classic and hit start. Okay, so it's, I can hear it doing some work. And there's water coming out pretty quick. I hear a pump running, it's not super loud. It's taking the water down. Yeah, we can see this, this like a, these little lights now, these little lines, it's like a progression. So that's gonna progressively go to till the brew is done to kind of show you where it's at. We do get a little bit of steam out right here. 
Again, the machine's not super loud. You kind of hear just a pump running. Okay, it looks like you get about four or five beeps towards the end. The beeps aren't really loud. And be careful, the warming plate's gonna be on. That red light tells us the warming plate's on. Then you're just gonna turn the coffee maker off. Hit the power button, it's gonna turn the display off except for the clock. Go dump this out. Now you're ready to brew your first pot of coffee. Be sure and check out my detailed review. I'm gonna show you how to make coffee with a K-cup and with the coffee filter. And I'm also gonna be, I also purchased the Dual Brew Pro. It's got a milk frother and a separate water, hot water. So I'll be doing a review on this. Thanks everybody for watching. I'll put a link to it in my show description notes. And if you could, please like and subscribe.